Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Bind Style. Today we're talking prepping so that you can be ready when the SHTF. Here we go. Let me paint y'all a picture. You're sitting at home watching the news and all of a sudden the weatherman comes on saying it's going to be 78 degrees, sunny, clear skies, beautiful day. Well, you need to get out there and have yourself a picnic, buddy. But guess what? You ain't prepared. But don't worry, that's where I come in. With my three-hour pig-out bag. I'm going to give you all the tips you need, plus all the essentials you need, to have the best picnic of your life. Picnic Prepper's pig-out bag needs to have all the items. They just need to be able to sit by the door. So you got to make sure you have stuff that can be well-preserved and sit in this pig-out bag for a while. Okay, so here are the, uh, the essentials you're going to need. I'm just going to run through them real quick. Now the first thing that I like to carry is going to be something called an amuse-bouche. Now that's just the hoity-toity word for a pre-appetizer. So what I like to use is Vienna sausages. Now what you're going to want to do is enjoy some cheese and wine. My go-to is always going to be cheese in a can. And you always want to get yourself a nice little bottle of wine. Now because weight is an issue in your pig-out bag, you want to keep the grams down. Uh, you want to get a small bottle, no glasses, and when it comes to the crackers themselves, one sleeve should suffice. I mean, it is just a three-hour pig-out bag. Now, what I like to do is use a fruit cocktail. These can last up to four years. Uh, same with the cheese. Crackers, not so much, but you got to cycle those out. And you've got your basic essentials, like plates, of course. Now, part of your essentials are utensils, a fork and a spoon, okay? Now, I know that we're trying to conserve weight here. A lot of forums out there for pig out bags will tell you that you need to get a spork. You don't use sporks. Sporks are an abomination. Like you know what? Kill me. Exactly. So you don't want that. <laughs> All right. And you don't want a spork. Can't do nothing with it but scrape your tongue, roof of your mouth. Main course. We're talking main course people. I spare no expense. I use star kiss chunky tuna. What you got to do is you open your SK ration of, of uh, tuna. Pour that in, and then you got to open this ration of the mayonnaise. And what you do is you start from the base, and you just squeeze all that mayonnaise right into the uh, into the tuna. Got yourself tuna salad, buddy, for dessert, because you got to have a dessert. I just go with Twinkies. Just keep it simple. These can definitely last for about 75 years. So I'm told. My grandfather's been running an experiment. He he buried uh, some Twinkies about sometime in the 30s. Oh, one last thing you do need that's very important before I forget. Parasol. You need a very... Can we just take a moment to talk about skin cancer? It's a serious, serious problem for people out there. Parasol right here, it's perfect. It protects me. Uh, it protects my skin, my precious skin, from the sun. Because that sun is a son of a bitch. <laughs> I got the pig out bag packed and ready to go. We're going to head out to the park. I'm going to show you how to set all this up. But before I do, I'm going to end this video like I end all my videos with a badass demonstration. We're not going to the park. We're not going to the park. <coughs> but because we're doing a prepper's pig out bag for a, for a, now because we're doing a picnic prepper, a picnic prepper's pig out bag. <laughs>